What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. Man, today has been truly a surreal experience when it comes to this Aaron Rodgers trade because, you know, you, you wake up this morning, you know the press conference is going to happen. You're all excited. And then you actually see him wearing the green and white and walking into one Jets drive, and you're like, holy shit, like, this is really happening. Like, one of the best quarterbacks of all time who could still play at a very high level is now a member of the Jets. And you see him talking to Sala and Douglas. And then, you know, you're just like, you can't really believe it. Like, you know, it's just, this kind of reminds me, I'm an older fan, man. This kind of reminds me in the Brett Favre trade where there was so much anticipation and build up. And you just couldn't believe it because you see these guys on TV. You see all the great accomplishments. You see all these things. You're like, I wish one day we could have that. I wish one day we could have a franchise quarterback or somebody we could see play like that on our team. And you had glimpses like you, you had Vinny Testaverde did it. You know, unfortunately, got hurt the next year. The Fitzpatrick thing, but, you know, he fell apart towards the end. But now it's like you have, like, one of the best to ever do it as a member of the Jets. So you watch the press conference today, and Aaron Rodgers absolutely nailed it. And he, he came off friendly. He came off professional. He came off very likable. And he said all the right things. And some things, like, everybody kind of assumed, like, you know what? He's not going to attend all-season practices. He's not going to do this. He's not going to do that. And he pretty much dispelled all that right off the bat. He's like, listen. This is a new team. I can't be distant. I got to be here. He's got to buy a house here. He wants to do activities with his teammates. He wants to organize events. He wants to do all kinds of things. He has to ingratiate himself with this organization. The only way they can win is they're all on the same page and they have chemistry and they all develop together. And he admitted to it. But I really like some of the things he also mentioned about, he talked about Coach Sala a lot and how when the Jets had that joint practice, how he learned, he gained a lot of respect for Sala. How when they played against the Jets last year, how they played on defense, how physical they were. So you figure from Aaron's perspective, he's like, listen, I know what your defense could do because you whooped my ass last year. And I know what the offense could do because Hackett was my coordinator. So it, it all made sense there. And I, I just like the way he, and he talked about how hungry he is. Like he did an interview on SNY with Janae Coakley right afterwards. And she asked, you know, what's the message for Jet fans? And he's like, I'm hungry. He's like, I know you're hungry and I'm hungry. I want to win. And he referenced, he knows, Aaron Rodgers is a very smart man. He knows the history of the NFL. He referenced it. Listen, it's been since Super Bowl three. I walked in here, I saw the trophy, and it needs a friend. And he's right. You know, he, re he, he mentioned the, you know, the playoff drought. He knows what he's getting himself into, but I honestly think he's embracing the challenge. He likes the challenge. He seems ridiculously motivated. He has a little edge to him. He has that little, that little glare in his eye. He's like, he knows what's up, man. I, I, it's exciting, man. If you're a Jets fan, you're not excited. It, it's I mean, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I just can't take any more. It's, so, it's just so cool. And then, obviously, everybody wants to know, did he give assurances for two years? And he's not going to answer that question. He's smart. You know, he never gives that kind of stuff away. But he also mentioned, listen, like, the NFL is a year-by-year -year business. You don't know how your body is going to be in a year. You know, you could say, hey, you know what? I want to play five more years. He, he said in the past he'd want to play into the 40s. You don't know how you feel at the end of the season. So, that's going to be, you know, this time next year, we could be having the same conversation. Or the Jets win a Super Bowl, he's probably going to retire. But uh, overall, this is a tremendous day to be a Jets fan, man. The the excitement is is real. It's genuine. I think he, I thought he came off very authentic today. All the interviews, I think he's going to nail it. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how he interacts with his team, how they how they what moves they make going forward. The one interesting thing was the Connor McGovern details came out today at center. It's like one year, I think it was 1.9 million or something like that, or something. It's ri ridiculously low. I think. McGovern may you know, try to go out in the market and see what he can get, and the market didn't come back to him, which is, you know, on a one-year deal, I wouldn't be opposed to drafting a center or two, and maybe you can groom somebody or even find the upgrade at that point. But uh, overall, man, I'm excited. It is so cool to have Aaron Rodgers, a member of the Jets. The sky's the limit for this team, and uh, let's go. Draft night, get some assets, have some fun. I'll talk to you later.